Welcome to 5k Ranch guys. Thank you for joining us for today's video and today we're gonna be working on a horse She's a young horse and we're gonna be trying to desensitize her. So stay tuned So I'm going to be doing a three-part series Today's video is the first video of this three-part series and it's about desensitize Desensitizing can you say that word? So today's video will be going through desensitizing the horse and just getting, um, getting some of the spook out the next video will be about riding, um, getting on the horse to kind of start it. And then the last video will be about working it to become a finished horse. So I hope you enjoy it. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Ring that notification bell, because when you ring that bell, YouTube will notify you when we upload a new video. So that way you don't miss any of our new content or any of this series. And if you like this video, please smash that like button and let's get going. So the first thing I do is I saddle her um, because that, that's when she bucks, that's when she goes crazy is when the saddle's on. So that's the first thing I do, I saddle her. And then I take the feed bag, it's just an old feed bag and it makes a lot of noise. And so I just keep showing it to her and introducing it to her and showing her her face, both sides of the face and just rub it on her. So what I do is I rub it on her and as she walks away from it and gets scared and moves away I follow with, follow her with it until she stops and as soon as she stops I release the pressure so I keep following her keep following her and once she stops release the pressure So I continue this process until she just sits there and relaxes. And then I just continue just to rub it all over her and just to show her that the bag won't hurt her. Once they are finally sitting there and letting you just rub all over them with it, um, the next step what I did is just swinging around them just to make some noise. And you always want to swing with rhythm and that will just show them that it won't hurt them. And as always, always continue stopping and rewarding your horse and just telling them that they're doing good. Next, I put the bags in our stirrups and that'll just rub all over her and make noise. And so I want to make sure I stay on the side of the horse so I don't get run over. This little horse, Peanut, she she keeps surprising me. Because even how small this horse is, she's got a pretty good butt. The next thing I do is I grab a lunge whip and just try to run her in circles. As you see, I'm pointing with my left hand and then telling her to go with my right. So I ask her first and then once she doesn't, then I start telling her. So as you can see, she still has a little bit of a buck, uh, which is completely fine. You want to let them buck and just so they can learn on their own that bucking is not a solution. So I continue this process of lunging her in circles until she's completely fine with the bags rubbing up against her. And then you always want to just stop them and let them think about it and then tell them that they're doing good. And 
And you always want to constantly just be rubbing them down with the lunge whip or the flag or whatever you're using. And that just teaches them that what you're using won't hurt them and that there's no reason to be afraid of it. And at the end of everything, you always want to tie them up just to allow them to think about what they learned. So guys, I didn't have my uh, cameraman <laughs> or anybody film this, but I just, um, I saddled up Huck and I took him, um, or I took Peanut on just a trail ride, just behind. Um, nothing crazy happened. She's just normal. Um, so she's coming along really well. And Huck, he's always doing good. Here's that uh, Corriente saddle after a year. It's broken in pretty good. It's still, you can, I don't know if you can hear or not, it still squeaks. It's really nice. If you want to learn about that saddle and a Corriente saddle, go check a video. I'll put one up in the cards um, for the video I posted on, on that. But, yep, yeah, so she's doing really good. Now, about time to get on her again. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. If you have any horse questions about training or tack or bits, all that stuff, throw down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you answer your questions and share my knowledge with you to help you become a good horseman. Stay tuned for more videos, and, and until the next upload, stay in the saddle.